how to fail. That more we will not. It's hot. Hey guys, it's me Ajit, your host here at Evercoach. I've been traveling a lot lately and I've been meeting, networking and learning from some of the best minds in coaching and entrepreneurship in the world. And I'm starting to see a pattern. Almost every accomplished person I meet, whether they are a coach, an entrepreneur or an author, seem to have one thing in common. They aren't afraid to fail. And the more I think about it, I, the more I realize one of the biggest things that hold us back in life is, is the fear of failure. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to face your fear of failure. First thing first, <laughs> here's a fact. You are going to fail. At some point or the other, sometimes when you know it's coming and sometimes when you least expect, you are going to fail. It is impossible that you will ever achieve what you want to achieve without coming across at least a few hurdles on the way. Nice and simple, no beating around the bush, Failure is inevitable. Knowing this is the most important first step to overcoming your fear of failure. Don't let failure be some mysterious unknown shadow lurking in the dark. We always tend to fear the unknown. But now that you know it's going to happen at some point in some shape or form, you're better equipped to handle it and that fear stops holding you back. Which brings me to point number two, engage with your fear. Knowing that at some point in your long journey, you might encounter failure is not a reason for you to not try or hold yourself back. It's not a get out of jail free pass. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Think about failure. Think about it long and hard. Engage with it because by being aware of its possibility and engaging with it, you're taking power away from it. This does not mean obsessing over it or being consumed by it but merely rationalizing failure and engaging with it at a logical level. It stops that fear from turning into something that paralyzes you, but it, instead it empowers you and places you in the place of control. Thirdly, identify your false beliefs. You know the mind is a funny thing. More often than not, if you think about something enough, it will manifest itself in your life. It's the law of attraction, the power of your thoughts. Uh, now mind you, this works in reverse too, so it's important you become aware of your self-talk. Fear is something we cultivate over time by reinforcing it to ourselves either consciously or unconsciously. So become aware of what it is and you're telling yourself that it's breeding fear. Fear thrives when we continually imagine the worst, identify these patterns and then break them. Turn it into a conscious habit to not allow yourself to think of failure every step of the way. Reframe the way you think about your journey. Make the what if I fail conversations you have with yourself into a what if I succeed conversations. This makes all the difference. And lastly, have a growth mindset. Failure is only a matter of perspective. You might have failure at starting off your own company, but look at what you've gained in the process. You are one step closer to success. A growth mindset is resilient in the face of failure. Thomas Edison said, I failed my way to success because everyone who has tasted success knows that they have had to deal with much failure on the way. But that's okay because when you're focused on your goal and you're working to fulfill your purpose, then a few speed bumps on the road of success means nothing. So keep your eye focused on the ultimate goal. Know that failure will come and once it does, know that you're one step closer to where you want to go. Amigos, I am sure you enjoyed this video like all the other videos from our coach. So I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to our channel so I can send you these videos every week. We produce these videos every week, even more interesting videos every week. We're trying to make it better. So I want to make sure that you get the information as soon as they're up and live. They're a couple of days early than our email list. So go ahead, subscribe. Uh, so I can entertain you more and educate you more from whatever we know or leave us a comment on how can we make it better or just share it with your friends or just subscribe. Maybe you can subscribe at this point and the video is over. You're just sitting watching me saying subscribe. Go for it. Yeah, now. Thank you.